A radical expression is an expression that has a square root sign in it. Like for instance, let's start with the square root of 50. Now to simplify this radical expression, we can break it up into parts. You can break up the square root of 50 into, for instance, the square root of 25 times the square root of 2. That still gives you the square root of 50. But the thing that's good about writing it that way is that the square root of 25 is a, that's a perfect square, so I'm going to have a nice simple answer. 5 for that, and the square root of 2 is still left. And this is a multiply problem, so 5 times the square root of 2, or we'd usually just say 5 root 2 as we get more advanced in mathematics. So that's the correct answer for simplifying that radical expression. Let's try another one. Let's try the square root of 32. Now if that had just been the square root of 36, it would have been really simple. The square root of 36 would be 6. But the square root of 32 can break into two parts. Uh, let's choose uh, the square root of 8 times the square root of 4. Now what's good about that is I have a square root of 4 here being 2 and I still have the square root of 8. And a lot of people stop and say, oh, I'm going to say 2 times the square root of 8 is my final answer. But the problem is that the square root of 8 can be still broken up again. And one of them is a perfect square. Square root of 4 times the square root of 2. The square root of 4 is really 2. So I'm going to bring this down and now replace that square root of 4 with a 2. And the square root of 2 is still left. That's 2 times 2 is 4 times the square root of 2 gives me 4 root 2. Two. Now some of you smarty pants might say, well why Mr. Teacher didn't you break up square root of 32 into square root of 16 times the square root of 2? And you're right, I really should have done that from the beginning. But you aren't always going to catch that early on. So the square root of 16 would be 4 root 2 and look at that, voila, same exact answer. Either way worked. That's how you simplify basic radical expressions.